running around? I know where to meet all kinds of interesting men. Let's go. Mm, no, not a chance in hell. Would you consider yourself a friend of Vaughn's? Well, well, well. There's an interesting group if I ever saw one. Who are you, Franz? I thought you'd know. They've been asking about you. Was that so? Ronan. Yeah? You've given me trouble enough, okay? Peaceful folk are trying to have a drink here. So it's gonna be hostilities. Take them outside. Oh, hostile can I get? With two such lovely ladies gracing us with their presence. You were born hostile, Ronan. Don't put on another display here, okay? So who are you? To be causing me grief before I've even ordered a paint. I'd be happy to tell you. Police. Got some questions we'd like to ask you. That's a nice, shiny badge. You must be proud to have it. But even if it is real, it gives you no jurisdiction here. So why don't you take your girlfriend and bugger off? This is official police business. Am I supposed to be impressed? No. You're supposed to keep your mouth shut and stay out of it and walk away. Hey, who the hell are you speaking to a lady like that? Okay, you can impress your girlfriend on someone else's time. Right now, I think you should cooperate. And who are you, Liz? Cop. Has to be. Doing him too, I imagine. Detective Leslie Spencer. Some lucky gals. So we're investigating a crime that occurred last month, August 20th to be exact. Mm. Yeah, I feel safer already. Where were you that night? I couldn't see. I'm on the road a lot. Well, let me jog your memory. Uh, five corpses, mercury, tilt switch, which I, which I know you're pretty fond of on homemade bombs, so why don't you tell me again where you were the night of August 20th? Let me think. Oh, that's right, I remember. Church. <laughs> Church. Yeah, I like to take the occasional moment to yeah. pray for my soul sanctification. Is that a crime? No, no, but I guess no one can verify that, right? Well, you might want to ask the devil. And if you keep prodding around in places where you're not welcome or needed, you might find yourself in his place of business. You can ask him. Take a drink. I could use one. And now you're bringing the cops down on me. You're whining. First you don't want fight, and now you don't want cops. Isn't it all the same to you as long as you get paid? Why don't you roan and find another pub? You're bad for business. I like this place, Mom. You know, for sentimental reasons. It would just break my heart if a faulty gas line like suddenly exploded. Left it nothing but rubble. Yeah, easy, boy. There's no need for threats, okay? I don't threaten, boy. I do, or I don't. So which is it gonna be? I apologize, Roman. You're welcome here anytime. Wow, he's good. The champagne just yet. It's all well and good to run a scam for five minutes, but it's an entirely different thing to sustain it. Mm -hmm. Especially when he's flying blind. Yeah, you can't impersonate someone you know nothing about. It's the quickest way out to get yourself killed. Your situation is going from bad to worse. Slovak hitmen are hunting you. Now you've attracted the attention of Yankee cops. Kind of serves you right, though. Divine retribution for telling me you're a cop when I commented on how you've changed. Never pegged you for an optimist. Maybe inspire hope in a cynical heart, Ronan O'Reilly. Now, how are you going to protect yourself? Take my case to the man in charge. I'm waiting to hear a day in meeting. So you intend to go on killing instead of choosing a different path? Something more in keeping with those changes I mentioned? Look, shut on. I'm in the middle of something. I have to work my way out of it. Take it or leave it. You're quite the natural there, Detective Leslie Spencer. That was pretty smooth. Genetics. I can't believe you pulled out your badge. 
him. It gives us a legitimate reason to be here. And it's good for Lucky. The more attitude he shows the cops, the more it sells his persona. You're not bad at this yourself. Maybe you can show me your appreciation later on. So you know, you haven't maneuvered out of anything. I'm gonna talk to the local authorities, see about bringing you in. Be prepared to make a statement. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not. There's nothing funny about you being taken in for questioning. Oh, what can they do? Waste my team. They haven't got a shred of proof. Because you're innocent. Because I'm good at what I do. Oh, you were. But I wonder. You need to work like yours if your heart's not in it. You think I should quote? Buy a little farm and milk the cows, <laughs> plant potatoes? God, no. You're not a man who could be happy with a settled life. You think you know that? Your restless soul, Ronan. I suppose you always were, but your eyes have changed. Used to be you were only happy when something was being destroyed. A body line in the street, a building going up in flames. Now you're looking for something else. Maybe a way to undo what you did before. To build up what you broke. I can't bring back anyone I killed. Oh. But you could double cross the man you killed them for. That'd be a challenge, wouldn't it? Bite in the hand of whatever devil's been feeding it all this time. I think you want, Ronan. A challenge. You're dreaming, Siobhan. That's what you're doing. Telling yourself all these fanciful stories. But don't make the mistake of believing them. And you're sure to be disappointed. Dragging my sister into this insanely dangerous situation? Oh, no one drags Detective Leslie Spencer so anywhere she doesn't want to go. that it was dangerous. Of course it's dangerous. That's exactly why I don't want you here. What the hell were you thinking? Don't blame Dante. Once he told me you were going after this Balkan guy, there's no way I'm staying put. What else did you tell her? That Interpol wanted you to take on the identity of Ronan O'Reilly because you look so much like him that they wanted you in place before the Balkan realized the real Ronan was actually dead, which gave you no time to prepare, and that essentially you're screwed. How do you know I'm screwed? Huh? Because up until now, I'm fine. I'm still in one piece. You didn't look fine at that bar. Okay, the bartender didn't look too fond of you. Okay, he's pissed off at the real Ronan, who's now dead for whatever reason, and you gotta go along with this grudge and pretend you know about it. Bottom line is, I don't need you guys here hanging around making people more suspicious. Everyone believes I'm Ronan. It's yeah, working. Yeah, including all his enemies who want you dead, too. How many times have you almost lost your life? I was this close. Getting a meeting with the Balkan. Two of the Balkans' men got to me. They said he wasn't happy about Ronan changing the meeting place. They blindfolded me, took me to a location, and I got away. It's a miracle you're not dead. Balkan doesn't want him dead. How do you know? Because I'm still breathing. It means the Balkan still has a use for O'Reilly. Well, at least until you embarrassed him by overpowering his guys and getting away. No, it just proves how capable Ronan is. Or the Balkan knows that something's off, that there's a reason you changed the original meeting place like you didn't know where it was. I don't think so. Look, objectivity is the first thing that goes, and you don't even see it coming. You feel the rush of your own power, you want to ride that adrenaline, thinking you can outthink, outtalk, outbluff your way from anything. This isn't my first rodeo, Dante. Don't make the same mistakes I made and wind up staring down the wrong end of a gun. If the Balkan aims at you, he is not going to miss. 
Sometimes you can get so deep into your cover, you don't know how close it is to being blown. And if you can tell, you, you pretend you can bluff your way through anything. That's when you know it's time to cut your losses and get the hell out. I told you I'm fine. I, I thought I was fine. On top of everything, I, I had Sonny's confidence, and then look, look what happened to me. Okay, you, you don't even have that. And we're talking about a guy who was from the old communist system. You think I don't understand the risks? Look, I am the only guy who can pull this assignment off. Well, then Interpol needs to rethink their strategy, because are you willing to die for these guys? You can chime in here anytime. No, it's not going to help. I know Lucky. He's going to do this no matter what. Lucky's not going to walk away from this. He can't. Thank you. But you're not going to face the Balkan alone. You need backup. I knew there was a catch to that sudden burst of sisterly support. Look, it's going to take a hell of a lot more than a close resemblance and an Irish accent to convince the Balkan that you are the real Ronan O'Reilly. Got this under control. If, if by under control you mean making yourself a target, then yeah, you have. Every day we're on a job or a target. I mean, that's what we do. But it doesn't mean Lulu needs to become one. Look, you need to go home, okay? Before you're, before you're in too deep.